Okay, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Staying Strong for Marriages. It's great to have you. Wanted to do a follow up. I, a lot of you guys have just really, I don't want to say broke my heart, but I've really sensed, you know, as a content creator, I've gotten a lot of messages over the last month, especially about the IVM. We got to be a little bit careful about what we say, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about since so many of you have found interest in this. For those of you who have been successful and shared good comments, thank you so much. Uh, well, I'm going to try to essentially do something to help the folks. I, I didn't find anything from Canada, okay? Like, I I looked. Okay, so hey, I had to splice this in because I didn't find this until later. Actually, it looks like we do have something that looks promising for Canadians and perhaps also others, New Zealanders. I am only going to be able to take it so far because I don't live in those countries. So I'm going to kind of have to hand it off to you guys. But um, when we get to one of the pharmacies... Um, it's, uh, this, when we get to one of the pharmacies, we'll go over it, but it looks promising. So hopefully, I hope, I hope it will help some people oh, to help Canadians, um, have stuff for folks in the UK who have been asking me about that. Australia as well. New Zealand. What I'm going to try to do is at least try to help and inspire some creative thinking, some outside of the box thinking. Disclaimer, I don't know that this is really, you know, buying, buying uh, medicine internationally seems a bit odd. It also seemed very odd to order it from Texas. So it's all good. So what we're going to basically be doing in this video here is we're going to just, because there's a lot on this website, this is from the FLCCC website, you can see it here. Um, I'm not going to scroll up just because of stuff. And uh, the reason was I I didn't get in trouble for the last one, uh, but they kind of, uh, they're not going to help me, uh, like they're not going to share any ad revenue with me because of the content and how disputed it is currently. Also, I'm going to speak slowly in this one. So, okay. We're at the FLCCC website. Okay, I'll, I'll go up. I'll look at it. I don't think that's going to get us in trouble. Right there it is, okay? We're here at the FLCCC Alliance, okay? So there it is for you, okay? They give a directory of pharmacies that you might not have noticed before. And one thing that's interesting is they have a little toggle switch here, which this is hard to read for you, but it says Ships International. Yes, 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 and then there's three no's. So if you just click on this, it'll toggle through. It'll put the no's up, then it'll bring the yeses to the top. So there's only three, so we are going to look at those, and it's been interesting. So we have in-house pharmacy. This is out of Vanuatu. Also, there's this one River Pharmacy out of Winnipeg, and then Canadian Pharmacy King out of BC, so that's British Columbia, Canada. So we're going to look at those. The interesting thing is... Um, also, for my friends, you guys know that I've done stuff trying to help uh, friends who are refugees and people that just can't get, like, not just this drug, but, like, other drugs. So, it's also, like, for that audience as well. But, um, going back, this one requires a prescription. These two do not, which I thought was, like, that's weird. That's weird, right? How can that be possible? So, let's start with the first one, in-house pharmacy out of Vanuatu. And it's called in-house pharmacy. They have a blog and you can see they have some different things like understanding the medical process, understanding some of the legality. It's not super helpful. I don't think their blog is just kind of like they put something up and I've, you know, I've made a website before. So it's like you got to put some content up there, but they don't give you a whole lot. Let's go over to FAQs. These folks love to put stuff under their FAQs. And the first thing we're going to do, sorry, but we're going to scroll down to prescriptions. And they say they include USA, UK, and Australia. And we'll see this in a lot of places in their blog and on other websites that basically um, permit the personal importation of personal medications for yourself or your immediate family living with you for quantities up to three months supply. Okay. Now, I'm going to scroll down a little bit further because <laughs> they need to do a little work on their website. Sometimes I think they say 31 countries they ship to, and then, uh, and then sometimes they say 26. But anyway, here is so Australia. So for all our friends and out in Australia, God bless you guys with lockdown number six or whatever is going on. 
Um, I know it's, I, I saw at least six. I, um, so no tracking on this shipping, but you can see there's different, uh, so Bahrain, Barbados, Cayman Islands, Cyprus in the Mediterranean, Falkland Islands, Gibraltar, Grenada, Guam, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Maldives, Malta, Martinique, Monaco, Montserrat, Namibia, Netherlands, Northern Ireland, Poland, Puerto Rico, Scotland, Singapore, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadas, Switzerland, UK, the United States. Okay, so that like helps at least for the folks from UK and Australia particularly have been saying, what about us? I didn't read this, but I should. Our pharmacy is based in Vanuatu. We are permitted to process your order without a prescription. So, okay, so there you go. And maybe the, I don't know. I don't know the legality of that. So you should, you should check that out. Um, but apparently from their end, uh, they feel that they can, can do this. So I'm just reading stuff off of websites that exist. I'm not giving advice on this about what you should do. You'll see that they have uh, different names, but it's um, either the traditional name that I think uh, Merrick gave it, um, Stromectol, or the generic name Ivermectin. But you can see they have a lot of it. The other thing I won't uh, spend the time going through this, but two of these are creams and then the other ones are tablets. They're totally out of stock for all of these. And there's two cool things about this website though. One, they tell you when they're getting a resupply. So I saw September 18th, 2021, October something on one of these other ones. Um, and it also tells you the manufacturer. So you know, I mean, at least if you trust them, but it, it, they at least, I don't know, give you who they're getting it from. So New Life, Britain Farm. So Merck is very big and then John Lee, I don't know. So I actually don't know like a lot of these pharmaceuticals, but it's better than what is going to, uh, what we're going to see here on River Pharmacy. River Pharmacy is going to like really make some of us feel uncomfortable. Maybe not everybody. Um, it just depends, I guess. But one thing that I thought was interesting, there's a National Association of Pharmacy Regulatory Authority, and this is just an article that I found when I was trying to kind of get my bearings on this and how does it work they said that there's a lot of fraudulent websites and so you want to be able to check you know that like you're getting medicine from an e-pharmacy which i'll let you guys research that on your own as far as like how common that is and the way that it works and how they can ship internationally and all that stuff um, out of canada but on at least the safety part and the legitimacy part, they say go check out the National Association of Pharmacy Regulatory Authority, NAPRA. So I went and looked them up and they have online pharmacies and they give some information, but they give us a nice uh, warning, which I think is very helpful. In Canada, pharmacies and or pharmacy owners are regulated by the Pharmacy Regulatory Authority in the jurisdiction, which is the province or the territory where the business is established. So British Columbia, Manitoba, all the, I think there's 13, I don't I'm not sure how many um, territories there are actually, but in bold it says a legitimate pharmacy and or, and or pharmacy owner including online pharmacies and owners of online pharmacies will thus be licensed by the pharmacy regulatory authority in that province or territory so how can we understand if we are dealing with a legitimate licensed pharmacy or if we're dealing with basically a fraudulent one that just got put up and doesn't have any backing or doesn't you know the big scare is the quality and what are you really getting um if, if they were to, to deliver something to your house. So point number one, verification with a Canadian pharmacy regulatory authority. You just click the link and that takes us over here, the pharmacy regulatory authorities. This is again the um, napra.ca, so it's a Canadian website. And they just break it down for you. They give you a telephone and an address and the name of the organization. They go by colleges, so Alberta College of Pharmacy for one, College of Pharmacists of British Columbia. And so for each of the states, so what you basically need to do is like we are going to go next to, so we're going to go look at Canadian Pharmacy King, which is uh, not this one. We're going to skip down to the third one. You can see it listed here. We're back on the FLCCC 
the Alliance FLCCC website. So we're, now we're going to go look at this one and go through the process of verifying whether or not uh, they are a licensed, um, licensed pharmacy with the regulatory board. So the first thing we need to know is where are they located? You go to their contact us, it says BC, so British Columbia, Canada. So then we would just uh, find BC, which was up here at the top. We just saw it right here. And we're going to go to this website. So BC. So we'll just go to the website and search pharmacy. Now you have to be a little bit, uh, have a close eye. I'll kind of scoop in here. Canadian Pharmacy King, you can see here. Prescriptions dispensed from Canada are dispensed by Can Drug Pharmacy. And they give you the license number. It's 18. 985 and they have a pharmacy manager Carol H O U and then it's licensed in the province of BC. So when we go to this website and we punch in, I guess I should redo it. I'll search again. I will type in the easiest way to do it is this works pretty well. So can drug is what I typed in initially. You could use other things like their telephone number or their address, but it comes up right here. Um, Carol H O U and then the phone number and then their address. So we can double check that against the address. It's a three, two, two hundred and thirtieth street, Surrey, BC. And so a three, two, two, one thirty Surrey street. So it matches. So this one we know is like legit at least. And so we can have confidence that they've managed to get themselves on the, this is the College of Pharmacies of British Columbia. And so I think we can be fairly confident that they are like legitimate pharmacy, that you're going to get what you, what they say you're going to get. Um, and you're not going to end up with some other weird thing. Okay. So I mentioned this in the introduction. Um, on the Canadian Pharmacy King, if you go to the FAQs, they have some FAQs, and there's two really interesting ones that popped out to me that I didn't see in the original making of this video. Question number one, do you ship to Canada? This is awesome. Yes, we ship Canadian products to Canada, which is important provinces. We've seen already in the video, they need to come from um, a Canadian uh, a prescription, prescribing doctor. So to Canada and require an original prescription or we can have your prescription transferred from your pharmacy or doctor. If you don't have a prescription, we can arrange a phone consultation with a doctor. I mean, that's like the best thing I've seen for Canada so far. You need to email them or customer service. Here's the email address for more information. So I don't know how it works. I don't know which, you know, what they're going to say. Um, literally, I'm going to let you guys um, kind of take it from there. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. And then scrolling down. Uh, and then question number two, do you ship to countries other than Canada and the United States? Answer. Yes, we ship to most countries in the world. There is a minimum $25 shipping charge and other restrictions may apply. Please phone or email customer service for more details. So again, I don't know, but, um, could work, could work. And we've seen that with this pharmacy, they are registered in Canada so they are reputable I think that's good news and I didn't catch it before so I definitely want to come back add that back in okay yeah, I want to have a comment before we jump right into it we've had a lot of people talking about taking uh, drugs for animals this is not really the place that I hope you would post those things I'm going to do my best to remove those if you want to get involved in those conversations as a, a viewer as a watcher as a commenter there's uh, people that have probably a million views at this point on that kind of thing um, there's a lady like self-sufficient mama there's another guy that comes through my feed all the time uh, he's got yeah like 800 900 maybe a million views at this point uh, he's sitting there eating the paste out of a bowl uh, I don't I don't recommend that. I mean, I'm not a doctor. I'm not, but here's, here's, I think, common sense. Quality and safety is not the same. You know, if you look at like when I was in graduate school, I researched how to create fish food formulations, pellets. And we looked at a lot of how is dog food created and cat food created. It's got all kinds of weird stuff in order to get the protein levels up. It's basically dried blood that's in powder. It's real gross stuff. You know, it's not high quality. The 
So you can imagine the same processes. There's not going to be the same level of safety, the purity, these types of things. This That's a big problem. The fourth one is really, really huge on why I'm really, I just want to discourage everybody from taking any horse paste or anything is that um, ivermectin is a, is a real drug and there are problems with drug interactions. Um, again, I'm not going to comment. Yeah, I'm not going to comment, but um, definitely uh, this is something that the PA uh, goes over with people. What drugs are you taking? That's why they make you fill out all the drugs. And so if you're taking any other kind of drugs, or you need to take any other kind of drugs. Um, there's not going to be any other, re there's not going to be any record, you know, if you're taking uh, this, this stuff for horses on your own and no one knows, right? Your doctor doesn't know. There's no prescription. There's no paper trail. Okay, I'll leave that aside, but uh, I thought that was very important. Okay, so we've got the two easy ones out of the way. We did in-house pharmacy, and then we did Canadian Pharmacy King. Um, now, the last one is River Pharmacy. Also, no prescription required. And so this one is going to be a little more, uh, more work, trickier, and less clear about where they're actually um, doing everything from. So if we go over again, so we'll go over to their website here, River Pharmacy. We'll go to contact us and they give us, um, again, they are located here in Winnipeg, uh, Manitoba. I shouldn't say here, that's not where I live, but um, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Okay, so what does that mean? We have to go back to this pharmacy thing. We have to go to the College of Pharmacists in Manitoba. And then if we punch around College of Pharmacists of Manitoba, pharmacy, here. public... And they actually give some in interesting information, International Prescription Service. So like this is important, Manitoba pharmacists are not permitted to fill U.S. Phar physicians' prescriptions. They can only fill prescriptions issued by a pharmacist licensed in a province or territory of Canada. But in this situation, we're looking at an organization that apparently, you know, according to them, uh, they don't require a prescription. Okay, so I put in just the pharmacy name River and... Um, there are 18 records that are found. They give you license numbers. So these are 35727. So these are five digit numbers. Same here. These are all five digit numbers. If you go over. So then if we go back to the corporate, and this is FAQs under corporate, are you a licensed pharmacy? Short answer, yes, we are. Long answer, our fulfillment center is located in India. What this ends up meaning is that they give you pharmacy license numbers that are six digits and they have this slash and so it's a totally different numerical system these uh can only assume are licenses for india which is not the same as the licenses that were coming from the regulators in canada so they want to say yes we're licensed but they don't say where they're licensed right so that's why it's a little tricky um so not only is it not registered in canada on the um college in manitoba uh, you can also go here to first time customers and it says international customers if you live outside of the u.s we have some excellent payment options many residents of countries are able to pay us via their online banking in their currency of their country and you have to email them so payments at riverprofessionalsgroup.com or what was it karen river pharmacy at gmail.com or you can call them 1-888- eight four eight one nine four five so it's uh not as easy you know this isn't like your typical online checkout thing um they say that you it's very weird the flccc says uh, at river pharmacy here that you don't need a prescription but then when we come over to River Pharmacy site and we go to the FAQs, do I need a prescription to order medication? The short answer is yes, but it says our policy is to adhere to the regulations of the country of origin. At present, the bulk of our medication is shipped from our fulfillment center in India where a prescription is required for certain medications. If a prescription is necessary, the customer will be notified. So, you know, you can... Um, you can, tr you know, you can try it. Obviously, they're not going to do a lot of these uh, benzodiazepines and painkillers and some of these things that have really been like opioids and stuff like that. So, um, uh, narcotics and things like this. But for the folks who are looking for for the IVM and things like that, it's a possibility. Um, and I just wanted to run through because it actually took me a long time to kind of look through all of this. So coming down here with River Pharmacy, still run River Pharmacy site. 
they have shipping by country, shipping availability, and the weird thing is these everything that's listed is not available to these places. So again, sorry Canada, no. New Zealand, no. Where is New Zealand? Oh, up here. There. So not available. Um, Canada not available. But Australia again is a different option. So and then apparently, if, you know, for anyone else who lives in a place that's not on this list, it's a possibility for you. Um, there's more information about. Um, you know, they do a lot of their prescriptions. This is River Pharmaceuticals does a lot of their uh, production through Sun Pharma. And so Sun Pharma has a site, and uh, actually they don't have um, IBM listed on their uh, products that they run. So we know that it must be somebody else that is doing is doing their manufacturing for them. Now, at least um, River Pharmacy does have like add to cart. You can get 12 milligrams or, or whatever you want here. Um, tablets, uh, yeah. So and then you can click on these different uh no it's it, this is what they have so you're going to be buying between um 10 and 200 tablets of ibm now remember that thing that we read earlier says that you're only allowed to get a three month supply so um a lot of these you know you'd have to um you'd have to kind of wonder what would happen i tr so still here on river pharmaceuticals i tried really hard to find this um number 15 Mahatre Wadi um, in Dehisar West in Mumbai. So I've been to Mumbai before and India is an interesting place um, and I looked you know for as long as I could until I just couldn't couldn't really do it anymore you know in this case it's all the pharmacists are all um, all grouped together and so um, there's a bunch of them but if we never really found really found what we were looking for exactly so it seems like there's definitely some sketchy online e-pharmacy sites out there. Uh, just be careful. Again, I'm not telling you what to do, but I hope it helps as much as possible. Okay.